Hey everybody, so I am here today to share with you this book that I made for a swap over on Junk Journal Junkies and it was a swap that I hosted last month and it was the theme was all about books so this is the one that I created for that swap uh, unfortunately I didn't get a partner at the time well I could have you know if I wanted to do like a, a three-way Red Robin type of thing but I just decided well I'll just keep my book because I love it and you know my daughter fell in love with it so I decided to keep it but then I ended up actually getting a partner a couple of days later and I made another book which I will show later it's over there I'll do a separate video for that but this is the one that I originally made and the uh, base for the book had to be um, like a book you had to you could either gut the book or leave pages whatever but it had to be like a book so um, this one measures eight and a half by five and a half and it has two signatures I ended up painting the book painted it with the vintage white and then over the top I painted it with teal and it created this uh, beautiful color I really love it so much I love this color so and I just put some book paper in the background and then for that little edge I use this I've had this forever I think you can still find it on Amazon so it gives you like two types of um, torn edges on your paper so I just put that in the background and printed this one from Pinterest. It's really cute. And then I just sealed it and then I sealed it with this Distress Glaze. And then used this to seal the whole book. And for my binding, it's for, I think, yeah, this is the first time I've used this type of binding. And I've seen a lot of ladies do it, so I just used my crocodile to put a hole and then used a brad and then some seam binding for my closure. My papers came from, gosh, I think it was, so my papers came from this stack, you guys. It's the Maggie Holmes crepe paper. And I got it Tuesday morning. So that's the paper stack that I used for this journal. Um, right here I made a library pocket. Made this little book. This is a Prima stamp, I think. Yes. It's a Prima stamp. Jody Lee, I think it's called. So I used that one. So I made a little book and it's stamped really nicely and library card stamping up tab punch on the top it's a little thick but that's okay all these came from Pinterest all these printables I really love this one it's better to have your nose in a book than in someone else's business so totally love that image <laughs> and then through the book I put book pages uh, and writing paper graph paper um, books from children or pages from children's books and yeah I really really like it how it turned out so here I have a little tag let me see if you're seeing this maybe I'll come down a bit okay um, a little tag this is Seven Gypsies Tag, and then I just hand wrote read on it. Journal paper. I stamped the um, feather. That's also from a Prima stamp set. Little pocket. Paper bag. Just some um, envelopes that I made. This is from that Tim Holtz airmail envelope die I really love it a lot so uh, it makes the, the size of the envelope is really cute I like it some children's book paper um, this is from a Sizzix die cut it's a flower and I had a bunch of these done out um, so I just used my tiny attacher to attach it
I love this uh, print. This is from an old uh, little golden book, A to Z. This is vellum. It came in that paper pad. This is the pocket, but I forgot to put something in there. I'll have to do it later. This I stamped a little butterfly. It's some more journal paper. Um, here's a tuck spot. This, I love this idea. Um, on your little strings when you tie your signature, I put these little leaves and this idea came from Renka. Hey Renka! Um, she did that for my book when we did our swap and I thought it was such a cute little idea. She's very talented. Um, here is another one of those little Tim Holtz envelopes. And I used the book paper. I love that. I love using book paper for envelopes. Just did some stamping. And when I stamped this one with the bird in the cage and then I put it inside, I realized then that there was a little bird in a cage up here. So that was a coincidence. Um, here I just attached a little glassine bag and then put a tag inside. Um, this is laughter and I just cut it from book paper. Again, uh, from Pinterest. I cut these with my silhouette and I just stamped new news flash. And this is the other side of the paper bag. A little girl holding her book. Tuck spot. I love this, the two little cats reading. They're so cute. And then this tag, and I just added some book paper over the tag, and then I stamped um, this and the butterfly. So lots of spots for photos, journaling. This is from a book that I got it, and um, at the beginning of every chapter it had like the pretty flowers, so I kept all of those. Another tag. little doily that I got from Leslie Spears. Thanks, Leslie. They're so cute. They're really um, tiny and petite. I stamped that butterfly. I love that stamp. Just a tag that I made. Paper bag, and I got this from Marina. Thank you, Marina. So I don't have anything in it yet. I can tuck stuff in there. Um, this is from that children's book. little tiny tag. Some graph um, ledger paper. Again, another one of those little envelopes that I made. So you can tuck stuff in there. Um, I just um, put a glassine bag. You know, I didn't glue it down or anything, so. I thought the person, whoever, you know, was going to get it could use it to, you know, put some little notes and stuff in there. This came from my library. Uh, it was free, so it's really cute. It has Dr. Seuss. Um, this time I put two little butterflies, used book paper. Another envelope. I stamped the little butterfly. And I stamped the feather on that one. This little bird die cut came from Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. These little ones came from April. Thank you, April. So I've been putting those to good use in my journals. Dr. Seuss book quote. More writing paper. Children's book paper. 
Um, this is the other side of the bag, and I just made a pocket. And then here I just put some extra stuff, you know, that you can use throughout your journal. Do some stamping. That's my favorite corner stamp. I really love that one. Stamping. It almost looks like part of the paper, but it's not, but it's so pretty. The other side of the vellum, and then um, I made this tag and then stamped the word love. J.K. Rowling quote, book quote, and that's it, you guys. That's the back. So that's my All About Books altered book. Um, I hope you liked it, and like I said, I will be back to show you another one that I made uh, for my partner. So I will be back, you guys, to show you the other book that I made. Thanks, everyone. Bye.